Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your true love, of course, the Scarender. And today we got ourselves a match against the Ryan, known as King of Cheapness. And basically this is a battle where I basically search for persons that would join me for an NU R game. I actually went for an NU team and my opponent went for an RU. And uh, I still managed to hold my own here and uh, that's why I do upload this battle, in, of course, because of that. And besides that, uh, King of Cheapness is a player that I have, um, well, trouble with at some cases because he's a very, very tough player, very smart one, and um, it's not uncommon for me to actually lose against him. I think I won once or twice, and I know that he won against me three times so far. So he's definitely a good player. And looking through my opponent's team here, we got uh, Delphox, Clawlista, Hitmolee, two regenerate Pokemon with Among Us and uh, the Alnomola, and of course Miaglele. I myself is using Severstrike, Cradley, Togekiss, Golok, Stoutland, and Waylord. And yeah, basically, the Pokemon that does well that does well here is Severstrike. I really need Severstrike for, well, he can hit super effectively on his Clawlister, uh, Mongers, uh, Alamola, and Lely. So I really want to keep that one in bound as healthy as possible. And besides that, I just need to void him off uh, with everybody else there. Hitmonlee is very tough if he gets momentum, and uh, to some extent, Delphox can be very scary if I let it set up. So, of course, with all this in guy's mind, let's go. So, yeah, from the get go, due to Zebra Strike uh, being, well, very efficient this battle, I basically went for a Volt Switch um, setup turn, really, because he has no ground top of his team, so I knew I could kind of work that out and hopefully get momentum from that. He's gonna start with his Glalie, he probably go want to go for a Mega Evolution straight off the bat, but he probably didn't want to take a potential overheat. I actually went for Volt Switch, uh, thinking that that was a safer move, but I actually went to his Among Us, so he probably is not expecting me for overheat as of right now, or even that Among Us might be able to take a few hits if that's the case. So we're gonna go to Cradley, and basically here, I went for Cradley because I don't want this guy to spore me or anything like that, so I'm just gonna take this opportunity to go for Stealth Rocks. And um, he doesn't go for Spore, which is great. He goes for Clear Smog. Clear Smog does not do a whole lot. Uh, it is a neutral hit and with Stab and whatnot, but still a very, very weak move. So uh, Black Sludge is going to recover a whole lot to me. And, uh, well, basically, he's going to go to his Bruce Lee. And I went for a neutral hit on him, going for Sludge Bomb. Basically, I'm not going to lie here. Um, just go to check how much damage he potentially could do. Luckily for me, it actually got the poison here, which of course will whittle down the Hitmonlee. And I saw this opportunity for him to maybe go for close combat. Uh, so I'm just going to go into my Optimus Prime and um, take this hit, or rather, not taking it. But he actually shows me the Rapid Spin. So now I know that I am in no favorable position. I know this thing can spin, and I'm just going to go for EQ because he has no, no flying poke on his team. But I actually went for a knockoff which did a whole lot of damage, but at least I get the Rapid Spinner out of the way, which means the rocks are here to stay. But my Golurk is definitely down for the count. It is... I can kind of save it as fodder, but that is as far as it goes. Uh, he's gonna bring the Pac-Man, and I knew he's gonna Mega Ball, probably going for a hard hit. But as I said, I really want to save this thing as fodder. Uh, my team is just really healthy as of right now, and the Hank is gonna come in the way Lord, which is actually a Soul Vested. Because I, I kind of knew I could take a few hits on this. Um, while I am not invested whatsoever in defenses, Waylord's HP is just that insane. And it doesn't go for Ice Shot, which like I said, it, it's not doing a whole lot here. And um, he's going to switch out, and I really get that. Uh, and he's going to go to his Among Us, which actually is, like I said, pretty annoying. It's back on track with his HP and whatnot. I went for Body Slam, a neutral hit. Basically, fishing for the Paralyzation. Uh, my body slam does not do a whole lot, and uh, I don't feel that comfortable staying in, and I'm just gonna switch out to straight off the bat, and actually, this time, sack off Optimus Prime to get a new type of momentum, really, because there is really nothing, like I said, there that he can do. He's actually gonna pull a double switch on me, probably expecting me to fodder off something, and he's gonna go to his uh, fish, his scissor, and that is a close, uh, and well, you know, there is no way of me really switching out. I felt that, alright, let's go down. I can get some momentum with the way Lord coming back on here, but I just wanted to see if this thing was locked or not. But I'm gonna go to Typhoon because, well, 
I was really sure that he was not scarfed and I basically fished for that. Uh, that was great, I actually did that. I went for overheat instead of a volt switch because I thought Among Us might be the safer bet. And yeah, uh, well... Well, it does do a lot of damage, it sadly fails to take him out and I did not expect him to stay in here. And uh, since overheat is... Um, well, as you guys know, it does lower my special attack, I have to switch out. And I'm gonna go into my Waylord, expecting him to probably go to his um, Gel Fox because of uh, well, the resistant damage and whatnot. And luckily for me, he does do this play, and I was really betting on him having a Power Herb Solar Beam to me because I can take that really well. He sadly goes for the Side Shock, and I say sadly because I have no defensive uh, investment whatsoever. A Solar Beam would do roughly 40% on this Waylord, that Side Shock sadly did around 60 so that did way more than I wanted to and my Waylord is, well, it's not really that prominent anymore. And uh, Among Us is back and uh, yeah, it got some momentum and HP back. I'm just going for Body Slam, pretty much farting it off because of a low amount of HP it's in. But she's going to go for Synthesize or Synesis and that is just, that's just it. Deirdre can recover some for me and yeah, it probably work, but... He can actually recover besides his regenerator, which means you know, that is an issue that is really tough to deal with. And he's gonna go to his handfish. Uh, I basically kept going for body slams, just fishing for that paralyzation, really. And it's finally kicking in. But yeah, this Olamola has just the worst type of defenses, really. High HP, high defense. Uh, there is no way I can break this. And uh, while it can't really do anything to me, uh, it can go for toxic and whatnot. I still felt that you know I probably should switch out, and uh, that's exactly what I do. And I'm gonna just go for volt switch this time, because like I said, typhoon or my zebra strike is really really pulling his own here, uh, forcing a lot of switches on his side. He's gonna go back to it's a trap, and look at that, it is back to full amount of HP. And um, yeah, the reason I didn't go for overheat here was because. Even if I did that, I'll still just force him to switch out yet again. I want this thing to be safe and locked in. So I'm gonna go to my gut, which is actually the new Stoutland I designed. Uh, a very, very aggressive Stoutland, not really relying on uh, uh, the Sand Rush, but more about bulking out, and I say it does that really well. Uh, but sadly, just go for a spore here, and uh, yeah, there's really nothing I can do. I just have to accept that the spore is here, and uh, Try to work my way around that, at least he can't spoil anything else. And I'm gonna save it for one turn, just see what he switch out to. And he's gonna go to his um, Clawlister. And um, Clawlister, I feel that he, it's probably very, very expected to go for an Aura Sphere here. And I have Pokemon that can tank that, and definitely Tokyo's can definitely deal with that. And I can hopefully set up against him, because this is actually a nasty plot, Tokyo's. And um, basically, that Aura Sphere being resisted by four, and <laughs> it actually did pretty much enough in here. And it's gonna go to his handfish. And uh, like I said, just go for a nasty plot. I really felt that this was my honest chance of setting up. And um, Togus might be the only real thing really defeating the Among Us if I am in a good position because I do practice Psychic. Um, so, I had this Pokemon Among Us has not enough special defenses, and I knew that. So just go for Dazzling Gleam and it does over half as a nasty plot and he is fully paralyzed and uh, he's actually gonna not risk farting this thing off and I get that, I truly do but at the same time um, he leaves his Among Us for a switch in thinking that at least he can take a Dazzling Gleam and yes, yes you can but like I said, I do pack the monstrous move that is the Psychic just because I knew that it's a very big possibility for me and having a matchup like that that a poison type could wall me out and luckily for me it does pay off here having this move will of course eradicate the Among Us which is just great that Pokemon is so freaking tough to bring down and it's gonna go to this Pac-Man of course Stealth Frogs really really puts it in a low here and I did expect him to go for an explosion so I was not sure I should fall off Togekiss just yet, I really really need all the momentum I can get. And he does go for Explosion, which is awesome, I love Glade when he explodes. And Waylord is going to not, well, take that hit, sadly, because it's just that powerful. 
even though it's a resisted hit, it is a crit resisted hit, and like I said, my Waylord has no investment in defenses whatsoever, so that actually was to be expected. So anyway, it's gonna bring his fish scissor, and it's all the Pokemon we got left is the Clawlista and the Almola, so my Blitzel can finally come in, go for its most powerful stab move, which is the Thunderbolt, and it will er eradicate, of course, the Clawlista, and his last Pokemon, like I said, is Almola. And there is not a whole lot that Pokemon can do from this range. Being paralyzed and whatnot, it is really whittled down to a point where my Blitzel can just finish it off. And uh, yeah, that is basically GG. So thank you so much, King of Cheapness. This was a very, very nice game. I was very glad to see this new team kind of working. So definitely a great man or a great battle man. So yeah, I really wanted to upload this battle previously or previously this week, but sadly due to um, due to life overall really, I haven't really got time to record anything and you know, I'm trying to catch up, I really am, but um, I will I will be a bit uneven with the uploads, but I hope I, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out and if not, you know, you guys can reach my Twitter and whatnot. Uh, a little small update to you guys, you know, what's happening this weekend or week overall. Uh, I was supposed to stream yesterday, but due to, well, I was sleeping really badly I was really, really just whittled down and, you know, very, very un just sour overall, very salty. So I felt that I, I'm in a new mood of streaming and it, would, it just would be a good experience. So I slept well this day and um, I hope to stream on Thursday actually. Or rather, I will stream on Thursday and I will, of course, stream on Saturday as usual. And uh, besides that, I just want to say thank you guys for, you know, for all the support as always. Um, I do hope to do a bit more, very, or you know, very, what's it called, doing different battles besides the lower tiers. I hope to have a UU team ready. I have an OU team that is semi ready, but I really suck in OU. I really do. Uh, <laughs> I, but it, obviously, it can't be helped. It's just, I have a different standard, and I just haven't got the time to really teach myself how to play better in the high tiers. Uh, very well guys, I want to thank you all for watching, I hope you really liked this team, if you did just that, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe of course, and remember, sky's limits, so have a good day guys, and take care, alright, bye.